Guys, we're going to show you some video yes, uh, that we just got in from one of our stringers. This is Campton Hills. It's right outside of St. Charles in the um, Geneva area. Take a look at that. Wow. Wow. And you can hear it. Wow. Listen to that. Mm. Yep. That is a wedge tornado. Yep. Wow. In, in Illinois. Campton Hills. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not what you see every day in this part of the world. That's for sure. That is a very large and dangerous tornado. No and question. Listen to how loud it is. Yep. Wow, like a, look at like that. Oh, you can see like the debris. A... You can see the debris. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That has fully made contact with the ground. You're seeing debris All the and debris. clutter. That debris, by the way, is moving at an incredibly fast velocity. So some of those winds inside those tornadoes can exceed easily wow. uh, more than 100 to 200 miles an hour. If you look closely, you can see a rainbow in there. This is, yeah. well, you know, that's because there's water being tossed mm -hmm. all over the place. But there is, this, this is not something, this is not a normal severe weather event for the Chicago area. Right. This is. I mean, we saw all the parameters coming together here when we were talking about the development of storms here in our early part of our evening news. And uh, we had just marked, marveled at the fact that I, Demetrius and I both never uh, recall seeing numbers this high off the charts of our levels that we're looking at the energy helicity index, which is one of the calculations we look for when we're uh, forecasting severe weather. Uh, was just off the charts. When you get to a level two at the energy helicity index, that's a, that's a loud signal for the potential for significant tornado production. In this case, that was up around four or five. So, I mean, you're way over what you would normally be uh, to get supercell thunderstorms to develop, which those in turn then produce tornadoes. Okay. So